6013 welding rods were developed for welding sheet metal on DC minus. The rod is held perpendicular to the metal with a tight arc and the travel speed is as fast as you can go without having the weld bead skip. Today, 6013 is more often used for general purpose welding with AC or DC plus and it is a good rod for the small low amperage welding machines. One of the first things you'll notice about 6013 is that there's a heavier slag coating on the weld bead. The slag even covers the top edge of the weld puddle. This keeps the puddle more fluid, helping to produce a smoother finished weld bead. Typically, 6013 is available in 332, 1 8 and 532. 1 8 is the most common size used and try starting with an amperage setting around 130 amps on AC or 115 amps on DC. Because of the slag covering, the differences in the appearance of the weld are a little more subtle, but when the amperage is set too low for the situation, the puddle will follow the route around, taking longer to tie in on the sides. The heavier slag may even interfere with the arc. If the amperage is set too high, the molten puddle and slag are extremely agitated and remain molten longer. When the amperage is about right, the weld puddle spreads out, tying in and moving easily with the motion of the rod. In the flat position, you can run straight or try a little side to side motion. Angle the rod somewhere between 45 and 90 degrees to build up weld bead. Scratch start, start the puddle, and maintain a short arc gap, even to the point of lightly resting the tip of the rod on the metal. Watch the puddle. The slag covers the top edge, but you can still get an idea of the weld buildup. Watch the sides to keep the weld bead straight, and just ease the puddle side to side. On vertical welds, 6013 was designed for a downhill application. You'll be welding away from the heat, so try turning the amperage up 5 to 10 amps. Angle the rod up so the force of the arc helps hold the puddle up. Maintain a short arc gap and try a slight side to side movement. Watch the outside edges to keep the weld bead straight and travel fast enough to stay ahead of the molten puddle. If you can't stay ahead of the molten puddle coming down, try moving a little faster or raising the amperage setting. For more weld buildup on heavier metal, 6013 can be run uphill. Start by turning the amperage down 5 to 10 amps. Try using a side to side motion, moving up fast enough to keep the puddle from dripping down. Make sure the sides are filling in to avoid leaving undercut. To make a horizontal weld, angle the rod up to help push the puddle up. Keep the rod nearly perpendicular to the metal or angled back into the weld just a little. Maintain a short arc gap and constant travel speed to produce a smooth weld bead. The mold slag will run down covering the bottom, but watch the top side of the puddle. Move fast enough to avoid excessive weld buildup. While you're learning to weld horizontally, don't try to carry too much metal. Keep the weld bead small. If you need more weld, you can always run a second pass.